What's up, guys? I'm Dark Shark, and today we're gonna do more stupid shit. A pain in the ass. Now I know there's plenty of shit I should be doing today, but I hurt my back. I'm pretty limited on what I can do. So, I figured this was a good time to get a T-handle shifter going. I've always wanted one of these. I have no idea if I'll like it. I got this cheap enough that if I don't like it, I could sell it and probably get my money back. But there's nothing wrong with my existing shifter. Nothing at all. I put a aluminum short shift kit on it. Not the shitty plastic one, an actual aluminum one. And it's damn near perfect, but there are some people, like when I take it in to get the alignment done or to get tires on it or something, the kids working at those places can't figure it out. You kind of got to know exactly where to slot the shifter in. And they can't do that. You know, they don't know the car. I, I can't blame them, really. They don't know the car. You know, it's factory, it's really sloppy and easy to find the gears. But when you put the short shifter kit in, you got this little little notch to get it into. And if you don't get it just right, you're going to, you know, you try to go into second, you're in fourth. So, nothing wrong with it, but plus it's still just a crappy stock shifter. This at least looks really, really cool. And I think the button for the reverse is going to make things a lot easier for other people driving the car. And it's just, that's neat. Plus, it looks like it's pretty easy to take this handle off, so that gives me some customization options, too, if you know what I mean. All right, let's get this thing apart and get this installed. This should be pretty quick. I've done shifters a bunch of times, so I don't expect too much trouble. But now that I've said that, I'm, the car's going to explode or something. <laughs> Sorry about the bright sun, but it's right where you don't want it. First thing I gotta do is take this knob off. And get this console out. I'm kind of bummed. I don't think that that shifter is gonna work with this console. We're gonna see. But much as I hate this console, it's better than nothing. And I do like having a place to stick a drink if nothing else. screw vibe from this. Oh yeah, that would be bent. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, like I said, I've got the, oh, you can't hardly see that. Let me move you a little. I've got the metal short shift kit. Works really well. But, oof, we got the brake on. All right, let's get you in the neutral from there. So I need 13s, I think. And I'll see if I got that right. 13 might be 12, but nope, it's 13. and greasy as it should be and there's the uh, short shift plate metal I'll get this out there we go and now I'm all greasy nice and now that's some great instructions Grease it and stick it in, okay? 
<laughs> I feel like those would be good instructions for life. Alright, so it's gonna go there. Well, it looks like there's plenty of grease in there. Let's just add some more to be sure. There we go. I remember when I was a kid and I'd see a mechanic or somebody working on their car and their hands would be greasy and, you know, dirty and black. And I was so disgusted when I saw that. Like, there's no way I would ever let myself be in that condition. Never ever. That is so gross. Yeah, so here I am with uh, greasy hands. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Is that right? Yeah, it's on the left. Okay. Let's get... Yeah, I want it under all the carpet. There we go. And... Move there. And it did not come with hardware. Well, that's annoying. What the hell, MP? Why no hardware? Let me see. The instructions probably say, reuse your hardware. Retain the lockout plate and bolts, but a new plate is also supplied. Do not save the spring oil. But yeah, we're saving the bolts. I think I'm gonna want a socket instead of that wrench for this. Yeah, because this shifter's got more crap in the way. So this will get in there better. So now I know how I've set this shifter, but let's see what the instructions say. Tighten bolts carefully and evenly, both sides. Yeah, all right. So it doesn't say anything. So what I like to do is while it's still loose, you can see the uh, bolt wiggling there. And it's just find each gear. Is that third or is that reverse? I think that was reverse. Or third. So that's third. Okay, and not find first. Second, third, fourth, third, second, first. And leave it in first and tighten them up. So, yep, I was right. I had it backwards. Let's flip that bad boy around. There we go. Let's try this again. If I only had a brain, I'd be a wealthy man. Oh, I wonder if that shifter will work on the 64. I don't know if I have one for the 64. Might have one in a box somewhere. But... Alright, let's try this again. Or third, you know, you know what I mean. Fourth, first, second, reverse. Yeah, let's get on fourth, tighten you up. Second, 
and I can't get over until I push the button and reverse. All right, let's try that again. Let me snug them down a little more because that feels right. Shall we go for a test drive? I think we shall. tune that a smidge I think we'll be fine though and see if I can get the console back in but otherwise we're done if I do an upgrade on the handle or anything like that I'll do a new video but till then we'll see you guys next time